Which one uh, was so we have, we have how to start a cult, uh, how to show off your muscles without seeming intentional, how to ride an elevator, and how to stop a wedding. I think those are the four best from what we have. How to stop a wedding is funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's do that one. I hope it's like uh, how to like, uh, I don't know, like break into a wedding it's and... It's uh, funny because I've got somewhere like, to be next weekend, yeah. so... I sent you the link to how to stop a wedding if you want to uh, yeah. like send I'll, that. I'll Just pass that on. I'll get it up on my phone. What were you? What were you telling me to go to? Um... He sent the link. I'll get it up on my phone. You don't, oh, yeah. So you don't okay. like them. Or... All right. How to stop a wedding? <laughs> That's told me it's on the phone because it might be like a different format. Maybe. I don't know. It might. It might um, look different or something because it's on like a phone format. It should be mostly the same, I would think. But I mean, yeah, if it's like completely different, I, it, it should just flow oh, yeah. naturally, I think. Um, okay, so we have uh, how to stop a wedding. We've all seen the movies where a person halts a wedding in progress in order to get back to the uh, one they truly love. In reality, stopping a wedding is a much more serious undertaking. It involves a lot of thought and planning and taking an honest look at your motives and intentions. If you truly believe the couple shouldn't be together, and if you believe you're justified in doing so, we have some suggestions for going about stopping a wedding with logic and legal action. Oh, that sounds boring, oh. though. It actually does, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I, yeah, it could still be fun, I think. Yeah, let's um, uh, barrel on through here and see. Maybe. Yeah, this is a point of no return. We've already read the description, so... <laughs> yeah, really. I can't <laughs> be a video out of that. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it is interesting because, like, you would think stopping a wedding on, like, a whim, like, who you're talking about, is, like, it's just that. Like, it's just, like, some, like... Thing that really happens mostly in movies yeah, it's just like the, such a like absurd thing they but... even ask like anyone who wants to stop you know speak now for hold your peace so right not like oh i'm gonna go get my lawyer and we're gonna yeah it's like i've got know. the paperwork it's like finally someone came prepared okay let's stop going guys <laughs> leave let's go they get, yeah, it's done. yeah yeah it's all over like this is why it's not a valid marriage you're like, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where this is gonna go actually but here's my 17 slide powerpoint presentation on why like, this is all not right. correct i stop weddings for fun <laughs> Is that your side job? Why isn't that YouTube prank? <laughs> that would be a good point. Alright, who wants to read the next part? Just get him arrested, or get her yes, arrested. Read the next part of oh, you, you want to read the next part? Okay. Or you can, start? like, take turns or something. The, like, just go read, to two? Yeah, just read one and go into two. Oh, we haven't read one yet. I think he just yeah, that's read the end of so Consider your one. motivations. Before attempting to stop a wedding, you need to think about why you have decided to take this on. Ask yourself if you believe you have the best intention of both individuals by stopping their wedding. Try to understand why the couple has decided to get married, and if you may be the only person feeling otherwise. Talk with family members or other people involved in the wedding to find out if someone else feels similarly. Ask for legal reasons why it shouldn't happen. Talking a wedding purely on emotions like jealousy or hatred. <laughs> 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 Those can be worked through with communication and therapy. Boy, but why, why stop a, a wedding at all if, uh, like, I don't know, I feel like that's, like, exactly what it'd be, is, uh, yeah, jealousy or hatred, right? Also yeah, that's all I can think of. Man, yeah, so I guess, like, uh, if you want to stop a wedding, a wedding, pretty much hire a lawyer right off the bat. Uh, Just so... have one hiding in the crowd, waiting. To strike oh, yeah, yeah, plant a lawyer. Have mm -hmm. the, uh, the pastor be a lawyer, you know, <laughs> be, a, be a spy. <laughs> never seen that coming. Disguised as a Chick-fil-A cow or something. Oh, yeah, because that's usually what you find at a wedding, so... <laughs> no, that's relevant. Yeah. He's bringing it full circle. Yeah, nobody would think, like, what's this Chick-fil-A cow doing here? Holding a sign that says, eat more chicken, have less oh, weddings. Then they'd like him. Yeah. It's perfect, <laughs> actually. No one would do this floor. on the side. That's a job. Like oh, yeah. Has that worked before? Oh, yeah. This is actually, like, one of the big ways that Chick-fil-A makes money is actually stopping weddings, so... <laughs> Not catering them. but they cater, then they stop them, so they still make their money. <laughs> One good way is, like, put a trap door in the floor somewhere, like, covered with leaves, like, in some sort of Scooby-Doo or something. Uh-huh. Mm. Eventually, it's either the, the bride or the groom is going to walk through there. Well, That's yeah, right. I mean, if you put it down the aisle, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know where else they're walking, but... <laughs> Off of the corner it's somewhere. Like, you don't want to be too <laughs> obvious, but you also, at the same time, you still want to get them, you know? I, you just put, like, a couple bushes and, like, some stuff <laughs> in the middle of the aisle, and then just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a right cow. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, no one's gonna suspect the cow, you know. Yeah, I mean, you could like, just like hide under a friends. ton of grapes. Like so many grapes that nobody knows you're under them. Oh grapes? yeah, he said grapes. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. 
Well, because yeah, if you if you have a lot of, if you have a lot of grapes, you can hide just like <laughs> if you think about it, the more grapes you have, the harder it is to see through them. So it's a good idea. I mean, that is a, that is a good point. You can make only about grapes. So fair yeah, enough. Especially about especially about grapes. I, I feel like also you could get yeah, like grape juice on the on the on the bride's wedding dress and then you know, raisins then though. Basically started. Well, raisins are already dehydrated. Well, raisins are so. She's not gonna want to get married if her wedding dress is all covered in it's grape juice. Covered in grape juice, exactly. That's what I've been saying you know, this whole time. No, I can't be seen like this. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, there's there's right, one way yeah, to stop the wedding. Yeah. So we already come up with, with with more legitimate ways uh, to stop the wedding than they have so far. But it, Michael, if you want to if you want to go ahead and read three. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> no, no, we were on number two. Sorry. Yep. I misled you. Let's start with number two. Okay, meet the, with the bride and groom privately to talk. No, okay, it's... I, I actually... That's <laughs> 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 such a shit show. How to read a wiki. How to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, he said that first. Ace said that. Oh, okay. You mean, uh, Oh, we Ace, help. We'll, help read. Ace, we'll, we'll pay you royalties every time we make that joke in the future. Yeah, I got my wallet ready, so. <laughs> Alright. Um... Alright. <laughs> meet, meet with the bride and groom privately to talk. Go directly to the couple to be and calmly discuss why you believe their wedding should be stopped. If there are legal reasons they should not be married, bring these up and show the facts. Imagine how you would feel if someone tried to stop you from having your wedding. Go into your discussion with the couple, thinking careful about the words you use and your reasoning. So this is someone else's wedding, not your own wedding. You're stopping, also. Okay. Make sure to stay calm and collected to get your point across the best way, you, in the best way. Voice your concerns and why you feel so strongly opposed to the wedding, but also listen to them and hear their side. Offer solutions if you bring up legal problems, and it's more likely the couple will listen and cooperate. Will I? Hmm. I mean, if they're yeah, wedding. I don't, I, I don't know about that. Um, like, cause what are these legal problems too? I wonder. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. So green card? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what, what was the what was he even said? I don't know. I thought it was green card, something like that. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. good. We can both joke over that. <laughs> <laughs> we have at least we, we heard one word from the joke. We got so. a punchline, so. so You know how when you have to go to driving school and they show you like the bloody pavement videos? Oh yeah. Red asphalt? I, that's why I went to driving school. But there are plenty of gruesome outcomes to weddings that I can think of down the road that like you could wet asphalt. Do. Get it? Someone <laughs> please laugh at that joke. That was really good. Come on. Maybe please. maybe you should have a stand up career. <laughs> come on, that was I, come on, that was really good. Anyone's ever heard of this? Right. Well, when you when you do your own uh, your own stand up uh, show, we can. I'm I, I'm glad I'll get to hear that one again. Although I don't know what the setup for that would even be. Like, imagine all the consequences of a wedding. Uh, wet asphalt. You guys ever been in driver's ed? There's like weddings for that. Wet asphalt. Pause okay. for laughs. Okay, good. It is just as bad as I expected. Uh, all right, so address your concerns one to one. If you do, if you need to ask, uh, or sorry, if you need to ask to speak individually with the couple to be, this is be beneficial if you don't think you can keep a cool head talking with them both at the same time. Discuss your concerns with them separately. This may be a good, uh, good time to ask questions about how they're feeling about the wedding and what the future looks like in their eyes. So, like, uh, it's like, well, uh, think about uh, in five years. You really think, uh, is, I don't know, what, what, would that, what would that even look like? So I was trying to make a joke, but I, <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really struggling here. This, like, this, this article has given me nothing to work with, man. All right, why, how are we just lighting around this? Number four, come as a couple's away a year. <laughs> More like a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, right? Next. <laughs> like, yeah, you start with the year, and then by then they're probably going to be broken, broken up anyways, right? Yeah, so. then you just launch your next plan, yeah, murdering yeah. one of and them. Then, and, and that gives you a chance to swoop in on the bride. <laughs> you know, that, that, all going towards, yeah. That, that, weir that year off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so who's reading this? I guess I'll read it. Okay. Four, it's a couple... I can read four since... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Sure. Three yeah. up. Read the three other ones. That's okay. that, that makes sense. Yeah. Convince the couple to wait a year. If you can't convince one or both of the lovebirds to call off the wedding, you can try getting them to hold. The expense of a wedding is great. Excuse. <laughs> I thought you said it was great. <laughs> it's great. The, it's the expense of a wedding is a great excuse. To need to wait to save up more money. No, you can't afford this. Let's just quit. Like, yeah, yeah save up for a wedding. Like you're, if you're gonna have a wedding, you already paid for it. <laughs> save up for like seventy more years, and 
Then maybe... Henry, if you're crashing a wedding, they already paid for the wedding. <laughs> so the expense has nothing to do with it. Planning a wedding is a lot of time and effort. For some, schooling, athletics, or current hobbies may take up to... <laughs> may take much of their time. Another excuse to hold off until another year would be family events coming up, such as Grandpa's 80th birthday <laughs> or the birth of a new baby. <laughs> Actually, is there a WikiHow article on how to stop your grandpa's birthday? <laughs> is, is there a difference between the grandpa's 80th birthday and the birth of a new baby? Uh, no, I mean, usually those things happen uh, simultaneously. Mm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's true. They're one of the same, really. Well, I, I always try to coordinate them, because you don't really want to have two parties when you just have the one. Yeah, that is smart planning. You could use these by saying how much nicer it may be to have a wedding... When the celebration will be all about them. Mm. If Appeal to their selfish are, desires. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Make, it, make them feel bad, really. Yeah. <laughs> and brag about how many people were at your wedding. It's like, you can't have a wedding because my grandfather has a birthday this year. Yeah, think about him. Come on, he's a lot left. <laughs> wait, oh, wait till he dies first. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you? If none of these are true and you feel the couple actually isn't a good match, you can... It's not really my grandpa's 80th birthday. It's 81st. <laughs> God, that's so horrible. <laughs> You can also tell them the truth if you think they will listen. You believe they should wait a year to see what comes of their relationship. And if they're still together and happy, it's testament of their Time to lock and load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's well, that's good because you're also sowing the seeds of doubt there. It's like, well, I would wait a year and eh, you probably won't be together by then. Breath. We'll see where it goes, you know? Yeah. It's been a year. Imagine how special it'll be then, you know? Yeah. When your grandfather's 89. <laughs> Well, here we go. We have uh, the next step. Obviously, if these former things don't work, then the next logical step is to suggest a fake wedding because discuss holding a wedding celebration, but without the minister and paperwork. But invite all the guests and pay pay for all the uh, you know all the expenses. No one else should uh, know it's not legally binding, and everyone can still enjoy themselves. This may satisfy a couple looking forward to the event and festivity, but avoid the trouble later with the divorce lawyers if it doesn't end well. It's like, well, can, like, you just in case. Them, think, so. what, what better way than to spend a lot of money on something that you don't believe in at all by creating a fake month, a fake wedding uh, so that it's a lot easier for the divorce. In fact, that's a good way to sell it. It's like, hey, you're, uh, you're, you're wanting to get married, but why don't you just or do a fake break, wedding? So. Uh, you still keep all the festivities um, and spend all the money, but then uh, you can get divorced in a year. All the fun of a wedding, but you know, with divorce. None of the, none of the legality. Yeah. In fact, why don't you just suggest a wedding and a divorce in the same day? That'd be fun, yeah. Because <laughs> then you get the whole festivity, and then you also get the fun of, of the divorce, and you get to like figure and out, you know. plan for your funeral afterwards. Yeah, why don't you suggest a fake divorce? Ooh. You know, you know, or a fake, a, a, a fake grandfather's birthday. Uh, who wants to read um, for this next section, Call Out the Lies? We're getting into the real drama <laughs> of the whole thing now. Ace will read that one. Call out the parts. Perfect. If you know the wedding is a fraud, or there are legal reasons the wedding should not go through as planned, you have at least 28 days to take legal action. Couples hmm. let a registrar know of their decision to get married, and the registrar is requir required to, to make that information. <laughs> Like, <laughs> your... Wait, it just advised you to have to have a fake a fraud wedding just before. And that will you man. to stop it from fraud wedding. For at least 28 days. Laws vary by jurisdiction, and each case is situation. Call or visit your local courthouse to discuss the steps you need to take. Once you have legal reasons, the couple cannot get married. Stop 20 steps for the requeered. <laughs> Requeered. First, it was, then it's unqueered, and then it's re <laughs> then it's requeered again. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right. Uh, oh man, that's a okay. good joke. <laughs> that's right, right, right. high, high quality, a lot, lot of effort. Um, this is the best joke, so. All right. Highbrow, you know, highbrow. <laughs> yeah, the average uh, listener is not going to get this one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the next one is, uh, <laughs> okay, I, Mike, I think it's your turn to read, uh, Involve Others. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. That always, involving others is always a good idea. 
Oh yeah, um, bring, bring more people into this a, into the stopping a wedding, you know? That's how you the stop fake it. wedding, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Let exactly. them know. Vouch the fakeness. If you have a good reason to believe the wedding should be stopped, it will help if you get others to feel the same way. <laughs> rally the rally the troops. Bring an angry mob to the wedding. <laughs> if you feel yeah, like you're... start start a petition. <laughs> yeah. If you so feel... change.org, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you feel it may be your only way to stop the wedding, share your research you've done with Share, yeah, share your research with family and friends of the couple in order to obtain a greater opposition. Use this pressure to divide the couple. What? Oh, it sounds yeah. so like... Split them up from the inside. You divide know? and conquer, basically. What? That's yeah, so exactly. terrible. This should be done as a last resort as it could be very traumatic. Well, <laughs> I mean, or, eh, you know. Okay. Could destroy lives, but it's fine. It's not that bad. Yeah, you know, you gotta do it for the end. The end's just by the means. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Crashing a wedding is not advised. Uh, it is like, a dramatic and reputation damaging route, which may not even work since some couples are legally married by signing the marriage license before the wedding ceremony. Mm, that'd be embarrassing cool. to crash in on. Yeah, it's like <laughs> lawyer stands up. Actually, uh, they're already married technically. It's uh, like, no, get a divorce. Just slink oh, away now. It's like, you yeah, must. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, my job here's done. Yeah. I'll just should have got a fake. Should got a fake wedding. Yeah. Would have a lot cheaper. Uh, the recommended plan would be to talk way ahead of time with the couple to avoid expenses and chaos and to have a rational discussion where you can all share your sides. Yeah. Man, I don't understand why this person is so invested in two people not getting married. It's yeah, like, what were the, um, reasons they gave? Oh, like, if it's not le if not legal or something, which is strange. Yeah, uh, could you make it legal? That, uh, that's a great idea. But the only for real crash stupid crash person. Is if You're right. It's just if I tell so like one of the people that are getting married. Or on what about Bob? When... Like, what are some reasons why a marriage would be uh, not actually legal? Like, she's actually a raccoon? Yeah, well, that's one of them. That's one of the big ones. I guess, that's I guess so. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know. Like, <clears throat> probably the raccoon thing. Okay, so let's see. Um, follow the money. So I think that would be... I don't even know who's trying to read. Hank, I guess? Yeah, this is a free for all at this point. Anyone want to follow the money? <laughs> Who wants I, to follow yeah. the money? So, I mean, I can read. Can you? Can oh. you? <laughs> oh shit! Wait. <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right. Follow the money. Is he giving them the Heimlich in that picture? Oh, probably. Looks like yes. it. Or she's like holding her back, you know? She's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's like <laughs> having a... Uh... My best just wants to choke this lady. <laughs> she's like having a heart attack <laughs> as, uh, as she's finding out. Oh, you want to stop the wedding? Ah! And then they're giving the Heimlich. I just show my broken heart above. Oh, that's right. All right. Take it away. Yeah. Three, follow the money. Is that what we're... Yes. Supposed to be? Yep. And... Yeah, that's it. Okay. On the money. Follow the them. couple? <clears throat> Three, follow the money. If the couple are relying on both or one set of their parents to support the wedding, you may want to try to stop the <coughs> money source so the wedding will be called off. If you well, have legal uh, reasons... Yeah, you can just rob them, you know? That's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty direct approach, but it'll work. Oh, yeah. Or just just kill those parents so they won't be able to pay for it. Oh, yeah, stop the source, you know, right, right at the source. I think it's, a, it's the bride's parents, I believe, right? The dowry, yeah. yeah. If you have legal reasons, again, share with your parents and let them know they may be financially supporting a harmful situation. If there aren't legal reasons, you can still voice other concerns and attempt to stop the money flow. Okay, I guess I read the next part. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, they wait that for 60 or 70 years until one of them just dies. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And then, then I can't get married now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just keep delaying it, you know. Um, void the marriage after the wedding. Wait. Oh, wait. How is that part of waiting it out? Never mind. Right. You can use the adult... <laughs> Yeah, I was like, isn't waiting it out, wait, I guess it's waiting after they're married. Waiting it out too long? Like, you haven't prevented the marriage, so, like, give it up now, please. Like, <laughs> this is I'll when you keep, move on with your I'll life. I'll just keep making passes at divorce every now and then when I have them over. <laughs> it's, it's like, like hey, hey, divorce is a big thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, you know that 50% of couples get divorced? You know, maybe you guys should try it. That's interesting, you know? Majority rules, almost. <laughs> oh, almost yeah. 51%. Yeah. You want to help it? Help it along? So let's make it 51. Yeah, All right, anyway. Exactly. In annulment for several different reasons, the marriage was with a minor and required approval mm. from the court under parental consent. Ugh. Okay. Be a twist. 
the marriage was not consummated. Oh, well, that's that's a hard one to prove. And neither <laughs> spouse were able to have sexual relations. Oh man, can you imagine like breaking up a wedding because of that though? <laughs> like they didn't consummate. <laughs> Like how invested in the work because they couldn't do it? I would think I would not think that you could that would be something to do. I'm it, not it seems, hard, but... it seems like a really old like law anyways. Oh, or this is what you have or written. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right, either spouse uh either spouse was mentally ill or mentally incas- incapacitated, involved with drugs or drunk. Uh, preferably during the wedding. Your wedding. <laughs> yeah, that makes it an easier case to make. <laughs> yeah. Divorce the guy already, or just not marry him if he just came to the wedding drunk. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're both drunk. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they <laughs> met an AA. <laughs> um, if the marriage was illegal based on incest. Well, I mean, in some states, it's probably still yeah. legal. If you're in the rough um, probably fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if the marriage was fraudulent, one spouse marrying the other based on lies... Or if a spouse was Green forced card. or blackmailed into the marriage by you, so then you could later manipulate them to, to divorce <laughs> exactly. them. That's, what I'm that, that's that if one. you're that's if you're playing the long con. Uh, <laughs> I think my play, like I, I blackmail people and get married, and then like I legally force them to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I thought that was my thing. Well, it's our thing. For you. Oh, it's like a couple activity, except. <laughs> Uh, all right uh if you know the wedding is going to happen (laughs) on any of those pretenses then you may still be able to null out the marriage after the wedding talk with the person whom you should initiate the annulment and show them how they can escape the marriage oh there you go to the back door all right let's finish this up i gotta go to like a heart transplant later or yeah something. i got something to do i got something to do in eight hours so let's keep it the pace what she's thinking is happening in real life all right good good all right so i think ace is reading uh wait for the marriage to fail down the road okay, this is pretty good one too. wait for the marriage to fail down the road if the couple are fairly young and it's their first marriage there's a 40% chance the marriage will end in divorce. Waiting. <laughs> Waiting is not a fantastic a wedding reason. card. Since... <laughs> Waiting is not a fantastic, fantastic solution. Since there... May not. May not actually end in sight. And this could be your very last resort. <laughs> this could be a good plan if you believe the relationship is already particularly unstable. Alright, there we go. Good job. Uh, that was a tough one, champ. Yeah. We nailed it, though. Okay, how about the this landing? That's the you important know. thing. Okay. You go up to give your speech at the wedding and you filibuster. <laughs> oh, kind of like we're doing now. That's pretty good. Wait, I don't remember this circle being there. <laughs> Huh. Okay. Um, right, it wasn't there. Huh. It's like it was photoshopped in. What's with the circle? That's <laughs> weird. Center. It's just floating in her kitchen. Huh. It's like an orb. That's kind of weird. That's not where the goosey's supposed to go. That's not where the goosey's supposed to go. Only popcorn or baby chick. <laughs> Maybe cotton. I think she was a cotton chicken. ticker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so um I guess I'll read the next part. Okay. Um or I think it's Mi- I think it's Michael. That's fine, whatever. We're we're almost done. Okay. Move on. <laughs> if you feel like you've done all the all that you can do rationally do to stop the wedding without success, <clears throat> it's time to accept the inevitable. Maybe this should have been step one, you know? Yeah, Rather than like, drag yeah. us on through all this, all this anguish. <clears throat> um, all this like all these steps of trying to uh stop it at every turn and then ultimately not be able to even annul it afterwards. Uh, it may take, or, or wait for it to fail. It may take time, but since you have no control over other couples' decisions, the best way to get over your opposition is to move forward with your life. Again, that's the only step that really needs to be on here, I think. Unless it's... Yeah, it should be number one, and, like, that's it. The end. Well, anyways, we do have, of course, some community Q&A, which is my personal favorite part oh, of these. Oh, good. We have filled these questions. <laughs> Read the first question, someone. My sister is marrying my brother. How do I stop it? Oh, my God. I like how the comment is just, the, the reply is just wow. Yeah, like, I need your opinion, buddy. Okay, <laughs> neat. Okay, yeah, yeah. incest is illegal. Wow, incest is illegal. So they are not legally allowed to marry. You can inform the clerk at the courthouse at which your siblings applied for a marriage license. Sorry, not a marriage license, but, but a marriage license. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but this one's funny. Who is the one who wants the marriage to be called off? <laughs> You're right, that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> who is the one, really? Me- yeah, metaphysically, you know, who is the one? Ontologically. <laughs> Fred. Yeah. Fred. 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 How to stop a marriage that you're after this video? You want to go and stop a wedding? Every yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This is just a lecture. The, the next topic. after this is the uh, the practical, if you will. So. Yeah. So get ready. We'll go and, we'll go and just... stop one. Hmm. Um, I like I like this one. Should I use a smoke bomb to stop a wedding? And then the answer is just <laughs> no. You should not. <laughs> Why not? not? Find that helpful. Yeah, six people did not find that helpful, which is the best part. They probably so like, did use a smoke bomb, and it was speak. probably more successful than talking about it. It worked. Yeah. Okay, there needs to be a wiki how what if everybody at the wedding, including the bride and groom, want it to be called off, but you don't want it to be called off. There should be a wiki how mm, about how to keep a wedding going. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, how to how to continue a wedding, if you will. <laughs> the follow up to this one. Well that's true, yeah, because you know you're gonna need some some help in case question. Oh my lover is married, how does one get rid of the wife? <laughs> Your best option is to find another lover, one who isn't married. That's a good answer. <laughs>